Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews. In this video, I will show you guys another 50 CD tweaks compatible with iOS 10. On my last top 50 video, I showed you 50 free CD tweaks compatible with iOS 10. And this time I have 50 more, but not all of them are free. A few of them are paid, but of course, most of them are free. And I'm showing them on my iPhone 5S here, just because this one is on iOS 10.2 and my iPhone 7 is on 10.1.1 so i just want to make sure that all these tweaks are compatible with ios 10.2 so enjoy the tweaks anchor you know on ios when you want to rearrange your icons if you want to put for example this icon right here ios won't allow you it will rearrange it up here again but with anchor you can place the icons anywhere you want just drag the icons to the place that you want to place them and they will stay there Adaptive keyboard. This is pretty cool. It will change the color of the keyboard based on the app that you're in. So if we go to the App Store here, you can see the App Store of course has a blue icon and the keyboard on the App Store will be blue. If we go to Messages here, green icon and the keyboard will be green. This is pretty cool. So if you want to disable this tweak on any of your apps, all you have to do is just go to settings, go to adaptive keyboard, and here we'll have a list of all your apps, and you can choose here to enable any of them and disable adaptive keyboard on that app. App language switch allows you to change the languages of apps. So you will have a list of all your apps right here, and you can go ahead and change their language. So you just tap on one of them and you will have the languages right here, and you can pick any of these languages and set it as the language of that app. So here on Google Chrome, I have picked German. So if I open Google Chrome right here, you can see it's all on German. You can see it here, even the keyboard is on German. This is pretty cool. So you can have different languages for different apps. Extra icon dock allows it to add more icons to the dock of your device. So you can see right here, I have six of them and you can even add more by going to the settings of this tweak. So you enable it right here, then here have icon count and you can have up to 10 icons on the dock of your device, which is pretty cool. If you go back, you can also hide the dock labels. So all the icons on the dock won't have labels. And then of course, respring your device for the changes to take effect. Full Folder 9 brings the full screen folders to your iOS 10 device. So if you open a folder, you can see it will be on full screen. It's pretty cool. So let's jump to the settings of this tweak and see what we have here. So you can hide the animations, you can hide the labels, you can auto close the folder when you open an app, you can change the color, or you can change the transparency and also the blur of the folder icon and also you can change the background of the folder with these buttons right here. HUD Dismiss. The volume HUD of iOS is very annoying. It stays here for a long time. So if you're watching something or you're playing a game, you will have the HUD interrupting you. But with this tweak, all you have to do is just tap it and you can dismiss it just like this. Swipe to delete contact. It's very easy to delete contacts with this tweak. All you have to do is just swipe like this and you can go ahead and delete any of your contacts. Just click yes here and they are gone. Press unlock allows you to unlock your device simply by pressing and holding one of the buttons on the passcode screen of your device. So if I just tap and hold the zero right there, it will unlock my device. So if you go to the settings of this tweak, you will have to enable it right here. And then you can choose here which button you want to press to unlock your device. Quick swipe. This tweak will add a very nice feature to Safari and maybe to other apps as well. I haven't tried it on other apps, but you can dismiss a video simply by swiping down like this. It's very useful. Roman passcode changes the lock screen passcode numbers to Roman numerals. As you can see, they look pretty awesome, much nicer and cleaner than the stock numbers of iOS. It looks pretty cool. The tweak doesn't have any options to configure. Safari Refresher. One of the features that I like the most about Google Chrome is that you can refresh the pages simply by swiping down. But you cannot do that on Safari, well, if you are not jailbroken. Because if you have a jailbroken device, you can install Safari Refresher and you will be able to refresh pages simply by swiping them down. Smile Battery. This is a very cool tweak that will replace the numbers on the percentage of the battery here with the smiley. So the smiley will change based on the percentage of the battery that you have left. Shift Cycle. This is a very useful tweak which allows you to change the format of the text so you can go to uppercase letters or capitalized or lowercase letters simply by tapping. 
the shift key here. So you just select the text, you tap the shift key and you can see it will change the case of the letters. It's pretty cool. So if you jump to the settings of this tweak, you have here enable buttons for all the four different formats. So you can enable or disable any of them. Sorry, low battery. This tweak allows you to change the battery percentage to any percentage that you want. You can literally just type here any number that you want and it will set that number as the battery percentage of your device. Spin settings. So this is a fun tweak which will make the gears on the settings icon spin. So you can see it right here, this nice little animation. Let's jump to the settings of this tweak. So we have an enable button. Then you can set the speed of the spin right here. So the default is 2 and the lowest is 0.1. So the lowest is the fastest. And if you change the number below 2, it will be slower. Status bar color allows you to change the colors of the status bar so you can change the color of the background of the status bar and also the color of the font and icons on the status bar you can do it for your home screen or for your lock screen so when you go to the settings of this tweak you will have an enable button here to enable it for the home screen and another one to enable it for the lock screen and you can choose here the home screen text the text color on the home screen and also the background right here and for the lock screen you have the same so you have the lock screen text and the lock screen bar here you just go here and pick any color that you like volume percentage whenever you turn up or down the volume of your device this tweak will show the percentage of the volume on the volume hood here you can see ringer 100 percent so anytime you turn up or down the volume you will have the exact percentage right here Universal mute. You know that when you mute the volume of your device, it will only mute the ringer, not the media volume. But this tweak does it all. So once you hit the mute button, it will mute all the volume of your device, the ringer, and also the media volume. So you can see here on my control center, you can see the media volume. If I go ahead and mute my device, you can see it will also mute the media volume. Unlock counter. This is a very interesting tweak to have because it will track how many times a day you unlock your device. So you will get this icon right here. So if you have ever wondered how many times a day you unlock your device, this is it. Unlock counter will take care of it. And you can see here the dates. And if you go to one of them, it will show you the exact time when you have unlocked your device. Tiny Player Pro allows you to control your music easily from anywhere on your device. So once you install this tweak, you can go to activator and choose a gesture to enable and disable it so here's tiny player pro so you can press on it like this to go to the music to go to your music so you can change songs and stuff like that and you can also press here on the title to change the theme of tiny player pro and you can also move it anywhere here just slide it anywhere on the screen and you can move it and you can see it will float anywhere and everywhere you go you will have this nice player and you can control your music directly from here status bar timer it will show you the timer on the status bar of your device so when you start the timer and you go out of the app you will have the timer here on the status bar always whenever you go on the apps and on the home screen the timer will be there unlock volume allows you to change the volume of your device even from the lock screen so you won't be able to do that if you don't have this tweak you will have to go to the home screen to change the volume but with this tweak you can do it on the lock screen which is pretty cool so let's jump to the settings of this tweak what we have here is an enable button to enable or disable the tweak then you can enable adjust when the screen is off and also you can wake the screen once you tap the buttons to adjust the volume activator activator is one of the most famous jailbreak tweaks ever that allows you to perform different actions using gestures so when you open it here you'll have your home screen application and also lock screen you have menus and stuff like that so if you go for example at home screen here you have you have different gestures and you can pick one of them and then you can choose what action you want to perform using that gesture to install activator you will need to add a repo so you will need to install it from that repo because that's the only one that's compatible with ios 10. better five column home screen so it allows you to add one more column of icons on the home screen of your device so now you can have five instead of four the tweak doesn't have any options to configure better five icon dock this tweak allows you to add one more icon to the dock of your device so now instead of having four icons you can have one more so you will have five icons on your dock 
charge pulse. This tweak will add a nice pulsing animation here on the icon of the battery on the status bar when you plug your iPhone to charge. I don't know if you can tell it from the camera but the battery indicator on the status bar has a slight pulse and it looks pretty cool. Circle bookmarks changes the shape of the bookmark icons on Safari. So you can see here I have circle icons instead of square icons and they look way better. So if you go to the settings of this tweak you will have an enable button and then this slider right here allows you to change the corner radius of the icons on Safari of the bookmark icons on Safari. Color font too. You know on iOS when you set a white wallpaper you will have black font and when you set a darker wallpaper you will have white fonts. Well this tweak allows you to choose which one of them you want to have. Doesn't matter what wallpaper you have set on your device. So if you go to the settings of this tweak you have here enable buttons to enable the white color, the black color or you can also enable Camelone which will kind of fade the font based on the color of the wallpaper. Color keys allows you to change the color of your keyboard. So you can see right here I have a blue keyboard. It looks pretty cool and you can change it to any color that you like. You can do that by going to the settings of this tweak. You will have to enable it right here and then just pick any color of your choice and then just respring for the changes to take effect. Color predictive allows you to change the color of the predictive text on your keyboard. As you can see it right here the text is red. So to change the color you will need to go to the settings of this tweak, enable it here and just pick any color that you want right here. Color Safari progress allows you to change the color of the progress bar on Safari. So you know when you open a web page you see the progress bar right there, you can change that color to any color that you like. To do that you jump to the settings of this tweak, enable it here. Then just go to select color and here you can pick any color that you want. Disk Pi allows you to manage the storage of your device. So once you install it you will get this icon on the home screen of your device. So when you open it here we'll see all the storage of your device. You can see the usage here. So you have the operating system, others, temporary data, application data and all that stuff. So if you go to one of them you can edit them right here. So you can delete any of them and stuff like that and you can free up space on your device. Dock Alpha allows us to change the transparency of the background of the dock. So you can see right here on my device you can barely notice the background of the dock. So if you jump to the settings of this tweak you will have this slider right here which allows you to change the transparency of the dock's background. And you have a respring button to respring your device anytime you make changes to the tweak. Duplex Clock. This tweak allows you to have two different clocks on your status bar. So you can see right here I have two different clocks for two different time zones. So you will have your clock and then you can go ahead and go to the settings of this tweak and pick another time zone and you can have two different clocks on the status bar. Flash color. You can see here if I take a screenshot of my device the flash will be blue not white. You can change that using this tweak. To do it you go to settings, enable it here and then just pick any color that you want. Hide app menu. When you go to your settings here you would see a long list of all the third party apps that you have installed from the app store on the settings panel here but this tweak will hide them and you won't see them anymore on the settings. Legacy status bar. This tweak will bring back the old iOS status bar look on your iOS 10 device. So you can see here the status bar will have a black background with white font and icons. It looks pretty cool. So let's jump to the settings of this tweak. What we have here is an enable button and also you have these switches right here which allow you to hide different elements of the status bar. Magic labels changes the colors of the labels not just all the labels so you can see here I have all the labels in blue but the mail has the label in red so you can also change the color of different apps labels so an app can have a different color the other app a different color. So let's jump to the settings of this tweak we have an enable button here and this is the base color so if you go here you can pick the base color this will be the color of all the labels and then you have eight different colors you go to one of them you pick here the name of the apps you go here pick the color click save and then those apps that are here will have that color on the label. Marquee. This tweak allows to set long titles for your folder. So you can see right here if I just go ahead and just type something here just make a long title here on the folder click done. Click done right here and now you can see how it slides the title so you can have you can see all the time all the title of your your folder you can see 
how the title will slide, it looks pretty cool, the tweak doesn't have any options to configure. Mini Power, this tweak will replace the power down menu, the stock power down menu of your iOS 10 device. So if you tap here to power down your, your device, here you will see this menu so you can respring your device, you can shut it down or you can go ahead and send it to the safe mode. And if you want to cancel it, just hit the X button right there. No icon dot 8. This is a simple tweak. What it does is that it removes the update dot on the app's icon. So you know whenever you update an app, it will show you a blue dot at the icon of the app. And this tweak will remove it. It doesn't have any options to configure. No photos collections. This is a pretty simple tweak. All it does is that it will remove the collections part here from the photos app. So when you go to the photos, you won't see here the collection tab. So this tweak doesn't have any options to configure. All you have to do is install it. Phone app no fave is a simple one that will remove the favorites tab from the phone app. So if you don't need it or you don't use it, you can go ahead and remove it using this tweak. Pinch to close. This tweak will add the pinch to close feature on the folders of your iOS 10 device. So all you have to do is just pinch like that and you can close the folder. Reveal and C9. This tweak will add this cool animation when you swipe down the notification center of your device. You can see this revealing animation. It looks pretty cool. So this is an Android animation, but it also looks cool here on iOS. Sentinel, this is a very useful jailbreak app that will show you the blocked contacts that have tried to call you. So this icon right here, when you install it, you get this icon. So here you will see a list of all the numbers that you have blocked that have tried to call you or send you a message. They will be right here. Switcher Flipper, normally on your app switcher, you will have the app cards right here on the left side of the app switcher but with this tweak it will move them to the right side of the app switcher switcher tweak pro customizes the app switcher of your device so you can see the way the cards scroll you can make them scroll up and down not sideways it's pretty cool so if you jump to the settings of this tweak you have an enable button then here you can choose the direction of the scrolling of the app cards on the app switcher then you can choose here which way you want to slide the cards to kill them then you can choose here the default switcher page so which page you want to open when you go to the app switcher and then you have some extras right here which you can configure and customize the app switcher title folder size allows you to change the size of the font here on the folder title so to do that you need to go to the settings of this tweak and here you have the default title size and from small all the way to the biggest one so you can just enable any switch that you want Translucent Cydia. So this is a tweak for the Cydia app. What it does is that it will add this nice blur effect on the installation page on Cydia. So normally this would be just white and black, but with this tweak you will have this nice blur. It looks pretty cool and it adds a very nice touch to Cydia. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. A lot more videos are coming on iOS 10.2 jailbreak tweaks. So make sure you subscribe to not miss any of them. And also, if you haven't already, make sure you check out my other videos, the top 50 free and the top 100 free tweaks. So yeah, make sure you check out those, subscribe to my channel, and also don't forget to follow me on my social media. You will find the links in the description of the video.